Please, Mr McMahon. Thank you very much, President Officer. First of all, I'd like to uh, thank Jackie Bailey for securing this important debate and also highlighting World Cancer Day 2022 on the 4th of February. This annual debate is important to continually remind society of one of the greatest challenges we face as a society, and that is finding a cure for cancer. I'd like to pay tribute to Cancer Research UK for their 20th birthday and thank them for everything that they have done over that period. Undoubtedly, cancer survival rates have increased, and that certainly is no mean feat. Every cancer survivor has the strongest story to tell uh, and can also be an inspiration to others. However, the greatest part of their story is going on to live the fullest possible life that they can. Yesterday, I met virtually with Pancreatic Cancer UK and indicated to them that once we do get into an even better position regarding the global pandemic, I would like to see world governments redouble their efforts to help find a cure for cancer. The pace and finance provided globally to help find vaccines to help deal with COVID-19 shows that where there is a will, there is a way. The vaccines are helping deal with COVID, but thus far it will not eradicate it. So who knows what the future will actually bring in this particular regard. But cancer is a wide and varied illness, and despite all the magnificent efforts and huge amount of finance over many, many years, it still has not been solved. This, in my opinion, shows exactly how, the great, sorry, how great this challenge is and that it really is unfinished business. And the motion highlights this year's theme of closing the care gap. And we received various briefings from, uh, for today's uh, debate. And I want to quote uh, from Macmillan. Uh, and I quote, the most recent cancer incidents, uh, cancer staging and cancer mortality statistics all show that if you live in a more deprived area, you are more likely to have cancer for it to be diagnosed at a later stage, and you are more likely to die from your cancer. Now, Jackie Bailey uh, earlier uh, quoted the Macmillan support line, and I'm going to do that as well, because I think the more people who actually make sure this number is out there, the better. So the support line is 0808 808 0000. Macmillan also published analysis which showed that 87% of people with cancer in Scotland experience some kind of financial impact from their diagnosis. And for those affected, this reaches an average of £1,000 a month on top of their usual expenditure. One in three people with cancer in Scotland are severely financially affected by their diagnosis, and, uh, and more than three quarters of people with cancer, 78%, experience a loss of income. And as the MSP for Greenock and Inverclyde, which has an industrial legacy in addition to some of the most economically challenging areas in the country, as highlighted by our position with SIMD data zones, the challenge facing many of my constituents uh, will be all too clear for many. People working in our industrial past have faced many challenges over the years, particularly when it comes to asbestos-related health matters. And this Parliament has acted uh, to help people, and I look forward to the future publication of the Scottish Law Commission discussion paper on damages for personal injury. Now, this has already been an issue that has been touched upon uh, and, uh, and uh, a constituent has written to me about. Now, I certainly hope that this paper provides the positive basis uh, on which we can, as a parliament, uh, provide greater services and support to people in the future. Now, the last two years have affected every aspect of society, and I welcome the introduction of the Cancer Plan, the Recovery and Redesign and Action Plan for Cancer Services. But society clearly has a lot to catch up with as a consequence of the last two years. And cancer patients are no different. So, presiding officer, every MSP will have a close link or relationship with either a cancer survivor or someone who sadly lost their right. Despite the, the pain and loss that cancer has brought, uh, I am grateful for all the time and happy lifelong memories uh, I have of all the great times and fun along uh, those years. For me, cancer is the challenge ahead. And I know that if we can improve survival rates, we can ensure that many more people create many more memories and also the life-changing experiences. Now, that really is a fight worth fighting for. And once again, I do thank Jackie Bailey for securing this important debate. Thank you.